everyone, welcome in. Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah presents me, Deborah, a little disheveled, a little midweek update here um, because I have some things that I have to get mailed out and I want to show them to you before I chuck them in the mail and stuff. Plus, I have got a little happy mail which I have stuck underneath something which I'm going to have to dig out and find because it's like right here. But I've also got a mini haul. You probably saw in the title. There's a mini haul, there's some, there's some completions and blah, blah, blah. Okay. A thing that I have to get sent out um, is in my lap. I have got also, I have this little package, which has a couple of hats in it that I made that's heading out towards Ashley, Stitch It Ain't Easy, because she does collect things for a shelter and a women's violence center. So um, just a little something. I try, but I'm not fast, okay? Um, speaking of not being fast, I have this package which is going to Katrina, Mindful Crafts and More. Uh, she is part of a ministry that helps out the homeless and the less fortunate and stuff. And they were collecting handmade items. I said, well, I, I, I'm too slow to make a lot of handmade items. They need it by the end of this month. And um, I said, how about, will they take socks? Because a lot of people don't realize that, that if you are giving something for the homeless and you don't know what to give them, you wanna make them something or something, socks clean beautiful new socks um, are some things that are almost always needed so went to walmart got some socks sending these off to katrina they will be heading off to the mail sometime later today or actually by the time you see this it would have been yesterday because <laughs> today is tuesday when i'm recording this um those have to go out this also has to go out you may have seen in my last saturday video that i had a little basket done right a little chunky basket these are all made out of this uh feather fringe yarn from mainstays that i got on clearance all different colors i held four strands together for this and worked them in a 10 millimeter hook oh my goodness i'm so sorry for the gone it has been a crazy work day um no pattern of course beginner crochet brain right and i did this little guy which is kind of cute little bitty one and then I did one that's a little bit bigger. And these are so soft and squishy. And they, they also will stand up. But look how the color kind of changes in there because I change, you know, I, I wound the yarn all up into balls, different sizes, and just changed them out as they ended and did that. Okay, this fits in there. And then I crocheted up really quickly, as quickly as I can go. Disclaimer there. Um, this one, just a bigger basket. Uh, you know, a kid can gather their little toys in there. Maybe somebody's got, you know, some little stuffed animals and stuff. I don't know. They'll use it. She needed chunky baskets or toys for boys or and toys for boys. Rose likes crochet, by the way, collecting for wings on this. Um, I don't know how to crochet toys, really. And I just decided, you know what? I want to give something. I think that maybe somebody will enjoy these. They are soft and squishy, by the way. Really soft. Um... But yeah, so I made these out of this feather fringe yarn. And the reason I don't have it in a mailer yet, not only because I wanted to show y'all, but I was out of mailers. I had to go buy some bigger mailers. I did not have one that those would, would fit down into. So I got three of these big guys. They're the number fives. Uh, they've got cushion, you know, recyclable, all that kind of stuff. So I got some of those so that I can mail stuff off when I need to. Ooh, I hope none of that falls. Now we're going to get into the mini haul portion of the program. Uh, that was my Walmart. Oh, another Walmart acquisition was this here. Yes, I bought the Easy Afghans from Crochet World. We will be going through that at some point and taking a look at it. By the way, this one here is uh, $9.99 in the U.S. and $10.99 in Canada. But it is 46 patterns and it's supposed to be easy stuff that somebody like me can do. That is usually a thing there. Okay. Also part of the mini haul, apparently I am a sucker for towels. I do like to do the crochet towel toppers and I've got a tutorial of how I do mine um, on the channel. And I'll, if I remember, I'll stick them up here in the, the doohickey. And if I don't remember, uh, they will be in the description below, the little playlist for it. Most of y'all probably already knew how to do towel toppers, but that's okay. 
We are all at different levels. I am still a beginner. Now, I didn't start crocheting until the beginning of 2021. And I just kind of took it and ran with it. All that is to say is, y'all, Dollar Tree has got some cute towels for the holidays. Each one of these towels for me will make two with a crochet towel topper, the way that I do them. That has sparkle in it, and I think it's showing up on camera. This is screaming for some silver sparkle yarn, which I own. Yes. Look. A little tis the season action go in there. Just kind of general with the holly berries and the pines. This is kind of cute if you're into the Santa thing. little welcome to the North Pole. Most of these are just cute. Now these here are all the microfiber ones, which are not my favorite to use as far as using towels. I do have some that are the cotton ones, which I like a lot better. Here's another microfiber one. Tis the season to be jolly. And the good thing about the Dollar Tree towels, it is on both sides. So when you cut it, you have got two complete towels to use. Here is another microfiber one. Have yourself a merry little Christmas with a very popular little truck there. A lot of people will love that. Um, I got two of these because it'll make four towel toppers and one is definitely for me. It's not going to anybody else. Um, if my cat was my boss, my life would be perfect. Isn't that stinking cute? Oh my God. So yes, that, and like I said, I got two of those. And I know I love dogs too. I just don't have one. But if my dog was my boss, my life would be perfect. Dollar Tree has stepped up their game. Oh, and by the way, these with the cats and the dogs, these ones are 100% cotton. These are the ones I actually like to really use in the kitchen and not just be decorative. Uh, this one is the microfiber, the polyester. But uh, I have someone in mind to gift this to when I put a topper on it. Gnome for the holidays. Isn't that dorbs? It really is. Okay, I got all those towels. Definitely crochet stuff there. Uh, something that is not necessarily crochet or crochet adjacent, but I thought it was cute. You know, if you have to buy calendars, if you're not really into the must have a specific type or kind, the place to go if you have a Dollar Tree is Dollar Tree. I have some packs of bit that has a big one and a little one and a little planner in it. Got those all for a dollar each. And I saw this and couldn't pass it up. This is a 2022 desk calendar and it's little, but look at those dots. The dots were totally screaming to me and I will probably use this one on my desk when working because sometimes I have to stick stuff to remind myself besides using the Outlook calendar and everything else that I have to use. I like having this in front of me to go, oh yeah, I have vacation scheduled this week. Yeah, that's probably the most important part is the vacation schedules for it. Let's be real. Um, also, stickers. Look at these. They're sort of 3D. They're thick. Um, these with the really pretty pink flowers, different sizes and different styles. And I got these with some very colorful, it says pop-up, so I guess that means they, you know, they do stick up off the page. They're thick. And uh, look at how colorful and pretty those are. I don't, quote, make cards, but I always add stickers and stuff to cards that I send and, and mail that I send. If you've got a piece of mail for me, you know there's going to be a bunch of stickers on it. One thing I keep looking for, though, I can't find any more Lisa Frank stickers. And I am obsessed with Lisa Frank. I have been since I was in school. I was in school in the 80s, okay? And Lisa Frank was big then. And y'all, I'm still obsessed with Lisa Frank. Okay, got all these towels, got the mailer, got the stickers. Oh, and finally, <laughs> at the bottom of the, the, the pile, I told you I had stuff stead on it, was my Happy Mail. If you don't know already, I love to exchange postcards with people. If you would love to exchange a postcard with me, please check the description below. It's super simple. You're basically sending me an email with a postcard in the subject line so that I know what it is when it comes in because I get a zillion emails. Um, and we will exchange information. And we send a postcard. Now, Sarah, Miss Crafty Moon, sent me this awesome stinking postcard okay oh and here comes oscar he cannot be like not in a video really dude dude off the laptop okay yes i know you. yes oscar yes hello not only it is a 
cool postcard from Seaford, okay, and a little, some information about Seaford, the Southern Railway, and who uh, designed the postcard, but, but, no, you cannot get up there. It's wooden. It is not even just paper, y'all. This is actually wooden. What? I never knew there was such a thing. This is the coolest thing ever. I pulled this out of the mailbox and I was like, look at this dear, we were in the car because my mailbox is like not on the house. We have to drive down the driveway all the way to the end. And we were on our way somewhere, which is usually when we check the mail, if we're headed out to the store or something, it's like, oh, let's grab the mail. And I love getting mail that isn't a bill and that isn't just junk mail, which is why I love getting postcards, but this, I have never seen such a thing. This is made by the Wooden Postcard Company. Like who knew there was an actual company for this in the United Kingdom? And yeah, this is so stinking cool. Who knew? I certainly didn't know. And I am totally loving this. And I guess it couldn't go through their machines to, to get the, uh, the, the stamp canceled so it looks like it was hand canceled by somebody that's really neat but wow Sarah thank you so much that is awesome I love that you thought of me when you saw this and she says it's where they like to go for a walk down there it's called the South Downs oh I bet it's beautiful I mean yes this is an illustration of it but yes look at the cliffs oh I was so tickled I was like and I'm showing the hubby and this, I'm like, look, look at this. And it's a postcard. He said, it's a postcard. What? He thought it was a little package because, you know, it looks like it could be just, you know, a little package in there. I said, no, no, really look at it. And we sat there at the end of the driveway looking at this postcard before we left the house. And then when I talked to my friend Sean on the phone later, I said, you'll never believe what I got in the mail. And I told him, I'm like a postcard. I said, but it's wooden. I said, not just, you know, paper, but actual wood. He's like, what? And I showed it to him. He's like, well, that is cool yeah because it just is it is so cool so thank you and I really do appreciate this and I love exchanging postcards I have another one sitting here uh that I got a couple weeks ago from my friend Neva in New Mexico and I still have it sitting here I've got to get all of these together and put them someplace where I can enjoy them because right now I just have okay I, I looked at this one here so it's sitting here and I get to look at it all the time but th they all need to be displayed in some place way more appropriate than just you know sitting on my table where I can see them I want everybody to be able to see them so thank you thank you thank you now I'm gonna hop off of here this has gotten way longer than I intended it to be but I appreciate you going along with me for my little mini haul and what I'm mailing out um, speaking of mailing out the hubby will be heading to the post office later today to get those taken care of and um, yeah it's just been very very busy I mean, busy is good, but just, you know, sometimes just a little crazy busy. But thank you for coming by. I'd love it if you hit the subscribe button. Hit that thumbs up. Yeah, this is for a gym. I need to go back to the gym, but that's another story. Um, but thumbs up and um, <laughs> hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It'd be great if you turn on notifications because a lot of times YouTube doesn't let you know who's put out a video unless you got that little bell thing you turned on. So do that too. I will see you very soon, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, y'all.